Hi, my name is Jay Livens. Thank you for joining us today to this Actifio webinar series. In this case, we're talking about episode one where we're focused on Actifio instant mount technology. I have with me here, Brylan Achilles, Global Field CTO. So Brylan, why don't you start by sharing a few words about instant mounting? Sure, so uh, the instant mount capability is really core to the architecture uh, of the Actifio platform. Uh, what Actifio users benefit from with instant mount is they get access to the entire data set, whether that is a file system with you know, millions of files, uh, or whether it's a multi-terabyte uh, database. Um, the instant mount functionality gives the user access to the entire data set uh, in a very short period of time without having to move data or change formats uh, like you might do with a traditional uh, data protection platform. Fantastic. And so what that might mean in practice from a customer viewpoint is the ability to sort of recover large volumes instantly, meaning you don't have to move it anymore. You can just click one button and up it comes. It's also, I think, read-write enabled. So it means that when it comes up and if you have a problem, you can actually immediately access that for operational purposes mm -hmm. or even for other purposes. Maybe you want to do some patch testing or something like that. The other thing I think is interesting is that environments are really growing rapidly, and so customers may want to do this with many virtual or physical machines. Can they do that with the instant mount technology? Absolutely, and that's really what the, the main user benefit of, of this idea is, is that you don't have to know what you want to access, what you want to recover ahead of time. Uh, if you think about what you do with a traditional architecture, you would have to read 100% of the data from uh, the repository, whether it was a, a backup system or, or maybe from production if you're uh, doing a refresh in a test environment. Read 100%, move 100%, write 100%, and then you can turn on your application. Then you can retrieve your, your file or whatever you need to do. Uh, with the instant mount idea, what we let customers do is simply access the data in place in its application consistent uh, native format and use the data directly on the Actifio platform to recover a file, to do test data management, uh, maybe to load a data warehouse. Whatever that use case might be, they're able to access the data in place without having to move it. And so what that means is you can access data from a small database in a couple of minutes. You can access data from a 100 terabyte database in a couple of minutes. You can run production off of this Actifio image because it's native format and because it has that instant access capability. Fantastic. I'm sure it would be helpful to actually see this live. So what we'd like to do is let's go to a demo now. One of the key features of the Actifio platform is the ability to provide instant access to large data sets in native format in a very short period of time. So let's take a look at what that looks like uh, with a quick product demo. It all starts by capturing the data from the source. Here I'm at my SLA architect screen where I define a service level agreement to capture data from the source incrementally forever and store it in various pools or various locations to meet that service level agreement. But to take a look at the instant access feature, we'll jump over to Application Manager. And here I can browse or I can simply do a quick search to look for an application. We'll take a look at a SQL Server database here called BigDB. I can change the SLA, but for this demo, what we want to do is to access the data. So I'll click on Access and it's going to show me all the point in time images, application consistent, that I have in my various pools in various locations. And I can simply move the slider back and forth to go you know, further back on the timeline to find what I'm looking for. In this case, I've got a couple of images on my snapshot pool locally, uh, native format ready to go. I've got four images globally deduplicated and compressed for longer term retention. And I've even got a couple of images out here in object storage for long term archive. And so what I can do is choose an image that I'm looking for and click on this mount button. And what that's going to do is it's going to ask me, you know, where do you want to present this data? And so I'm going to uh, choose a SQL server here called Demo SQL 11, since this is a SQL server database. And I can, you know, label things for, for, for tracking, of course. Uh, I've even got the ability to roll uh, database logs forward, right? So I can choose which point in time do I want to, 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 you know, to recover this database to, the application consistent point where we captured it, or do I want to apply some database logs on top of that to roll forward? Uh, we can do that as well. Uh, and then I'm asked to, to name my application. Uh, this database was called BigDB on the source. I'm going to call it NewDB uh, in this environment. So we'll go ahead and click on the button. And what that's going to do is it's going to start a job that's going to create a virtual view of that data, a virtual copy, and present it to that host called Demo SQL 11. 
So I can simply jump in here to the job to track it here. And uh, let's go log in on the host and take a closer look at what's going on. So I've got a remote desktop session opened up uh, to that host called Demo SQL 11. And if we take a look around, you can see that on this host right now, we've just got a C drive, you know, from a from a, um, a storage or, or disk perspective. And if I log into uh, SQL Server Management Studio, and I can just refresh this, you'll see that we don't have any databases uh, on the system just yet, other than the you know the built-in uh, you know system databases. And so what's happening right now while this job is running is the Actifio system is presenting a virtual copy of that application consistent image uh, to the host. And so part of the magic of this architecture is that um, you know this is a five terabyte database that we've chosen here. Uh, I don't have to move five terabytes of data. I simply present a volume that already has the five terabytes of data that you're looking for on it. And that's part of what we call our virtual data pipeline. The ability to uh, present blocks of data in the right order from an application consistent moment in time to hosts in just the time it takes to do the metadata operations, to rescan a bus, to mount a file system, to attach a database. We don't have to do any large scale data movements. I don't have to do any format conversions. And so the time it takes to make data available is really uh, not dependent at all in the size of the data set. It's just going to take a couple of minutes in every case, whether it's a small database, a large virtual machine, a large file system, or, or any you know, combination thereof. The amount of time it takes to access has nothing to do with the size of the data set. And so what you can see happen here is um, we just found our logs. The Z drive are the logs for that database, and the M drive are the data files for that database. And you can see we're a couple minutes in and the data is now available on the host. Um, this was about a five terabyte database, as I said earlier. And what you can see here is we've got 8.4 terabyte volume. That's right here. And uh, on that 8.4 terabyte volume, you can see we've got about four terabytes free. So if you do the math, it adds up to just, a, just under five terabytes of data. Uh, the log disk is already gone because we don't need it. I didn't, I didn't choose to roll forward any logs, so uh, that's been removed. And if I drill down into this drive, this M drive that just showed up, what you're going to find is it's going to look just like any other database. You've got some MDF files right here that are 1.4 terabytes in size. we got four of those. Um, that's now available to the host for reads for writes like any other database. The user is, has no ability to tell um, that this is a, a virtual copy. Um, so it's great that we can present the data in, in very short order, but more importantly is we need to make that into a, a usable database. And so if I refresh my Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, you can see we now have a database here called NewDB that wasn't there before, and it's now open and available for reads and writes like any other database. And so you can simply pop in here, uh, open up a new query, and do uh, you know do a, a select. You can do inserts, you can do updates, just like you would with any other database. But it's all happening against the virtual copy uh, that Actifio just created. And you can see you can do a quick, oops, quick query here. And there you go. You can see that you have a database that you can interact with just like any other. But the point is it's a virtual copy that we created from any application consistent point in time uh, using uh, the Actifio virtual data pipeline to do so. And there you have it. You can see our job completed in three minutes and three seconds. The ability to access five terabytes of data, to recover a five terabyte database, to, to do test and development against a five terabyte database, to load a data warehouse, all in very, very short order using Actifio instant mount capabilities. Welcome back. I hope you found that demo informative. Just to quickly summarize, we talked here today about Actifio instant mount technology and the benefits it can provide to customers. And we really appreciate your joining us for a few minutes to watch this quick webcast.